Hey everyone, my name is Sean and today I'm going to be showing off my work in progress guide for how to get a Z-Rank on Parallel Quest 9 Saiyan Blood in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. This one I'm going to call a work in progress because I found it a little bit tricky to get this one consistently just because of the random factor of Vegeta in this mission. Being able to do this mission successfully depends on Vegeta's health and sometimes he just gets punched in the face a lot, sometimes he will stand up and be strong. It's a little bit annoying. I hate escort missions, but what can you do? This mission has KO Can times 20, so tons of people like to do this mission because it's the highest transformation that um, that a non Saiyan race can get. So, um, and if you haven't, if you don't know how good KO Can times 20, check out my video on hidden character stats, it, where I explain the exact modifi modifiers which you get when using that transformation. Anyway, before I begin this mission, I want to show off the evaluation criteria, which I work towards quite often. Quest Great Success and Vanquisher, you're going to get naturally. If you beat this on Z-Rank, you're going to get those two, so you're going to get points for those. Adept Vanquisher. To get this criteria, you need to be the one that lands the last blow on all three enemies. That's Gohan, Krillin, and Goku. Adept Specialist. If you finish those three enemies with a special, sort of special, a super attack, then you will get a depth specialist and some extra points for your effort. Super attack finish. This one isn't um, important to work towards because it means to defeat the last enemy with a super attack. That means killing Goku with a super attack. You could do it with an ultimate attack. That's fine as well. Um, just aim for one of the two and you will get some more points for that. Conqueror, you're going to get naturally because you got you have to fight Goku. Super attack, or super user, sorry. you got to hit the super attacks 10 times. This can be really tricky to do, but I'm going to show you how I like to do it. Combo Adept, once again, this could also be tricky to do. As, as long as you focus on the right person to get Combo Adept, then you should be able to get it. And as long as you have a good way to get a 20 hit combo. Grappler, that's not too hard. In fact, grappling is really useful in this mission. Um, accurate, um, I haven't always gotten accurate when um, I'm being completing this with a Z rank, but hey, it's extra, it's extra help there to have an outnumbered. I always have outnumbered because I always fight by myself. So I'm gonna have a go at trying to demonstrate how I get a Z rank on this mission. It may work, it may not. Hope, but hopefully this can be kind of useful to some people out there. Like I said, this is a work in progress. All right, enough excuses. Let's go. Okay guys, so here is the card for quest number 9, same pride. The two hidden win conditions, if you don't already know, is to clear it with Vegeta's health of a 50% and to defeat revived Goku. That's how you get um, a Z-Rank on this mission. However, it is a little bit strange. When I got the, here are the rewards for it. The biggest one, like I said, is K.O. Kai. Masenko is often popular as well. Spirit Explosion is quite popular too. But um, I, I'm not using it. Anywho, um, when I got my KO Can times 20, I didn't actually get it by getting a Z rank. I got it by getting an S rank. And um, so you can get the reward without having to Z rank this mission. Although I don't know whether um, it's of a less chance or if by getting a lower rank you have a smaller window of opportunity to get the highest rewards in this mission. Also, the first time I got a Z rank on this mission, Goku actually didn't revive. I fought him the one time, get this butt, and then he didn't actually come back to life. So yeah, this mission has been a little bit inconsistent for me, but I'm going to try and show you my strategy nonetheless. Okay guys, so welcome to the Saiyan Prime mission. My kill order for this mission is always Gohan, Krillin, then Goku. I always focus on Gohan first because he doesn't like to use his evasive skill very often. I then focus on Krillin and then I can, and then Goku will spawn and then you'll have to fight him. At the start you really want to drag and rush over to Gohan ASAP and hopefully Vegeta won't focus on attacking him. If Vegeta gives you the room to attack him, it's the perfect chance to land a 20 hit combo, like so. That was a complete botch. That's 10, let's get back and I'm just going to use Meteor Crash on him to rack up the points. Okay, now that you've done this, you want to focus on landing as many special attacks on Gohan as possible and definitely kill him with one. Now you want to get in and start fighting Krillin if I can get my target lock. There he is. 
And again, you just want to focus on getting as many special attacks and or grapples on him as much as possible. There is his evasive skill. He likes to use it quite a bit. And I'm going to try and get closer now. Try not to let Vegeta do too much damage to him. Vegeta is really a hindrance to the progress in this mission. And you just want him to stay as far away as possible. Let's see if I can get finish him off with a special attack or super attack. Right. Goku's now going to spawn. So I'm going to charge up a bit. And on Goku, you just really want to carry on. He doesn't fight back too much, but he does do a lot of damage to Vegeta. If Vegeta has less than 50% health, you can forget about getting the Z rank on this mission. I try to f make sure he only has. He starts the next bit with 80%. So you've got to really take it to Goku as fast as you can. Okay, I don't know how many super attacks I've done. I've lost count. I'm going to assume it's played about 5. But now I'm going to focus on getting some grapples on Goku. It's really easy to do so. Because he likes to jump around a lot. So just wait for him to stop moving. And then land a grapple. Let's do this again. Up you get. And there you go. And one more time. He's stopped moving. There we go. Now I'm going to just finish off getting as many super attacks as I can. Up you get Goku. Up you get Goku. Thank you Vegeta. Oh, this is bad. Hopefully I can get enough key to finish Goku off with a special. Or a super. Vegeta, do not kill him. Don't you dare kill him. Okay, let's see if Goku revives. Here he comes. Goku in this form is very, very strong. He will kill Vegeta quickly if you don't do something. So get to Goku as fast as possible. Watch out for that move. It's really annoying and it does a lot of damage to Vegeta. Or oh, it really adds up. So just get to Goku as much as you can and fight him as quickly as possible. Still focusing on getting... Oh, watch out for this Kamehameha. They do a lot of damage. Vegeta is now at about 60% health. I'm going to focus on landing as many Orin combos on Goku as I can. So that he gets knocked down. And it gives me a chance to get more key. If you have good ultimate attacks, you can do that also. I don't focus on getting ultimate attacks on this mission. I just find it easier to get super attacks. But um, I've won with a Z rank on this mission using ultimate attacks too. There just isn't very much time, a lot of time to sit around and charge your key in this mission. You might want to use items. Goku, get over here. You might want to use items to get your, keep your key up, but I'm trying to keep this guide for everyone so that um, anyone can use it. Oh, come on. Vegeta is going to die, so let's get... Come on, come on. I'm a little bit worried now. Vegeta is, has taken a lot of damage. Goku is nearing the end of his health bar, but I'm still always a little bit cautious, a little bit worried that he might do something crazy. That that worked out really well in my favor. So now I'm going to land an Orin combo. Please kill him. Thank you. What rank did I get? What rank did I get? Well, see, I got an S this time. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed about that. Um, yeah, getting a good score or good enough points in this mission is a little bit tricky. But like I said before, I have gotten KO can times 20 with an S on this one. Um, I can't prove it, but you have to take my word for it. And I've shown that you can get a Z rank on this mission, but um, I just didn't get it this time. I'm not too sure what I missed out. I probably wasn't very accurate with my combos because I was trying to commentate and combo, but blah, blah, blah. Anywho, guys, I hope this has been at least a little bit helpful. If I can find a better strategy for this mission, I will publish a video and show it to everyone. But for the time being, I'm just going to call this one a work in progress. And um, hopefully someone finds this useful. So... Check out um, the other Dragon Ball Xeno first videos I have. Although you probably won't want to at this point. Much love, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. In terms of speed, shortest characters start with 110% speed. Short characters start with 105% speed. Tall characters start with 100% speed. And the tallest characters start off with 95% speed.